Natasha Hightower. I am a young scholar here at the University of Georgia, Griffin Campus, and today we are going to be making a psychrometer, which is used to measure the relative humidity in the air. To do so, you need two alcohol-filled thermometers, some scissors, some room temperature water, which we have dyed blue, some masking tape, a two-liter bottle of water, and a shoelace that should be really short or you will be trying to make the psychometer for a very long time. First thing to do is to poke a hole in the two liter bottle of water. Be very careful and if you need to get an adult to help you. Okay, once you have the hole, you need to pour the water into the two liter bottle and make sure the hole is on top so that you don't lose water as you pour. Now you take one of the bulbs, which will be the wet bulb, and you place the shoelace at the, on the end of the bulb so that it's covering the bottom. Then you take one of your pieces of masking tape, and you tape it to the 2 liter bottle of water directly above the hole that you've just created. Next, you take the other thermometer, which will be your dry bulb, and you place it on the other side of the wet bulb. Then, being extremely careful, you take the shoestring and you stick it into the water. First you take your initial readings and then you take the initial readings of both thermometers which should be the same, which in this case it is 24 degrees Celsius. And then you come back five minutes later and you check them again. Okay. After five minutes, you come back and you check both thermometers. First, you check the dry bulb, which in this case is still 24 degrees Celsius. Then you check the wet bulb, which is now at 22 degrees Celsius. You then come to a relative humidity chart and you find the temperature of the dry bulb, which is 24 degrees, and it's two degrees difference, so you go over three spaces which shows that today's relative humidity is 84%. 